we're going to look at our professional model, which is what we call our Pro Gen 2. The Pro Gen 2 is our gold one. It has, it's all gold. It also has where it is a positive charge in the housing. So when we use it, we're seeking ground when we're, when we're going through it, but it has multiple settings. So the first setting we're going to go into is low. So the low is five times stronger than that of my um, standard light. Nice. But low is used for a lot for um, acupoints, carotid artery, for viral, um, any kind of those kinds of work. And then the next level I go into is high, which then is seven times stronger, producing almost 200 milliwatts per centimeter squared, which means that's a lot of energy coming in and uh, or 700 total milliwatts output power. So when I put this on high, I go one, two, now it's on high. You got lots and lots of power. You guys can probably see this in the light. This will penetrate the hoof wall of a horse into the dermis and eliminate the um, swelling and inflammation of a foot. Why is that important? Who's all heard of laminitis in horse's feet? So if you can reduce the swelling, get the circulation going again, it, it gets the blood flow to go through a foot and takes care of the problem. And that's huge. It also works wonderful at the back of the foot to, to flood the whole area of the cartilage of the back of the foot of the horse and stimulate that. So I use this light all over the horse's feet on high. I also use it for muscle release and deep tendon issues. And we use it for whichever direction the hyoid is off on a horse. So that's really, really good. And the high will, will find, seek the low power in any of the other lights. So if I use a standard light or a multi-light, I can seek these two lights together when they're at different powers. I have found it works better to be different powers than the same power. It will work same power, but it works best being two separate. So doing hyoid release, I put it on one side of the horse or a dog, and then I put the other light on the other side. It will draw towards, it will release the side that's off to draw back to where it's supposed to go back to center. So that's pretty cool. And then the last setting is that of a pulse. So when I'm pulsing on an animal, well, you have to see how she's seen that versus, or felt that versus uh, the regular. So it, it is for anything that is chronic or stagnant or has a memory to them. So if you use it on their body, they will tend to override the brain and allow it to heal. So this proprietary frequency that I'm using will trick the brain into healing. So where are some good times that you'd want to use that? A lot of times I use it on scars, gelding scars, anything that had a traumatic injury to it, anything that is not healing. So if, if this is an older injury, a lot of times I'll start out with this and then just go back to regular red light. So three, three things it does is it's got low, great for acupuncture work, great for carotid artery work because it's not so much energy, it's going more broad base. Then you got the high, high is great for horses' feet, deep tissue areas, um, areas where you need a lot of energy, horses or dogs with like um, ACL tears or CCL tears, different things that where you need some energy to start the healing. And then you have the pulse feature which is for anything that's chronic or has a memory to it. So that's the wonderful things with my ProGen 2.